Today I'm gonna tell you about the time I nearly drowned. And Lee's vlogging. I'm from Sydney, but I moved to Wollongong for uni, and I moved into a Halls of Residence. And on my very, very first day at Halls of Residence, I was trying to make friends, and people were going to the beach, so I went to the beach. When we got to the beach, and there was a big sign that said beach closed, we were like, ah. And instead of doing the obvious thing and just going home, we went swimming at a closed beach. One of the boys was trying to teach me how to body surf, but these huge waves kept coming along and dumping us. He's maybe a meter or two away from me, and this wave comes crashing down on us, swirls us around. By the time I get back to the surface, I can't see him anywhere. I am out of my depth at this point, both in experience and literally. I can't touch the ground at all and I'm starting to freak out. So I'm constantly getting dumped by these massive waves. I'm trying my hardest to work out which way is up and swimming towards up, but I'm not sure that I'm even getting that right. As soon as I take a breath, it's like instantly another wave is there crashing down on me. So I'm getting like one breath a minute and even then it's sometimes full of salty water. And suddenly I get this feeling that sleep would be a really good idea. Every single part of me was like, let's go to sleep. And I was kind of like, yeah, that's a really good idea. And then a teeny, teeny, tiny part of my brain went, no, no, sleep equals death. And even then I was still like, yeah, but it'd be so nice. My mom is gonna kill me when she watches this. So there I am, basically drowning. And the only thing that's stopping me from going to sleep is this little voice in my head that's going, Emily, you just started a three year uni degree. Are you the kind of person who just drops out after four weeks? I don't think so. Which is the stupidest reason to stay alive ever. What had happened was we'd been caught in a rip, which is a very strong current of water. And we were getting pulled out from the beach. Luckily for us, this rip instead of just dragging us out to sea and letting us die, was dragging us out from the beach and then washing us back up on some nearby rocks. I say luckily. <laughs> the rocks were really jagged. We got washed up on the rocks and then dragged back out to sea. There was a whole group of people there like putting their towels into the water and pulling people up. And that's eventually how I got out. So that was my first day of college. I nearly drowned and I ended up bleeding profusely from cuts all over my tummy, arms and legs. I went back to college and had a shower. I bent down in the shower to pick up some soap or something and about a bucket full of seawater poured out of my nose. I'm not even kidding. And the moral of the story is, if you are in Australia, you should always swim between the red and yellow flags at a beach. If a beach says beach closed, there is a very good reason for that and you should not swim at all. These are things that my mother has been telling me since I was a small child, but I will now never ever forget them. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my near-death experience. If you have a near-death experience story you'd like to share, tell me about it in the comments below or make a response video to this one. My next video will probably be more fun and less deep. Deep? Get it? Because I was drowning? Till then! Love. Hate. Troll. Comment and tell me how close you've come to dying. That's a bit morbid. Tell me a happy joke instead. <laughs>